All right, Portland, get ready to shop till you drop at a massive vintage sale. This morning on Core Explorers, we're taking you to the Rose City Vintage Market, which opens today. Core Harlan is live at the Portland Expo Center with a look at some of the fun things you can find. Hey, Core. Emily, we got a lot of stuff out here that you'd love, and a lot of people love everything from mid-century modern to vintage clothing. We saw an art collection last time. Guys got dolls here, and there's just it's just so many categories of things uh, that are available out here at the uh, Rose City Vintage Market. Now, pre-buying starts this afternoon from 12 to 4, open to the public from 4 to 8, and then from 8 to 4 on Saturday it's open too. That's a lot of number soup there, but it's essentially saying it's open today and tomorrow here at the Expo Center in Hall C. Now, on my left here is Laura. This is Courtney to my right. They are from Left Coast Revivals and once again Vintage. And these girls are YouTubers. You guys are YouTube videos. I hope, I hope my 14-year-old kids are not watching because they will aspire to do what you do, being a YouTuber. You guys are talking also about how to incorporate some elements of mid-century stuff into everybody's contemporary home design. First, I want you, Laura, just to and kind of keep your face on Carl here, okay. but I want you to just tell me a little bit, how do, you, how do you go about doing this and how do you put that together? I think the first thing to do is start with what you love. And that's what Courtney and I do here in our vintage stores and on our YouTube channels. Mm -hmm. We buy what we love and you can decorate your homes with vintage, you can decorate yourself with vintage. Sure. And find something you love and show me where it would go. So this squash blossom what? necklace would be one of the things I'd love to talk about. It's a what? Squash blossom necklace. Squash blossom necklace. It's Why a, do they call it that? It's a Navajo Native American oh. piece. And this is done probably in the 40s or 50s by Carl Begay. Uh -huh. And I think that there is just so much incredible artist and craftsmanship out there from all different eras. Goes with the clothing too it a little does, bit. It does, it does. And I clothing. think decorating yourself with vintage and secondhand finds is just a unique way to present yourself to the world and to show your own individual style. Give yourself a little flair. Come around here, Carl, because this is this, this stuff is cool. We've got about a minute left here. Come on over here, Courtney. How much this is this is grandma's credenza right here. If I've <laughs> ever is. seen a grandma's credenza here, and these are some of grandma's old lamps yes. here too, right? This is a way of of giving the place you live a little bit of your personal touch yes too, right? absolutely and it's so important to shop secondhand as well because it's so much better for the environment uh -huh. and all this stuff is already out there you just got to find it you gotta find it yes wow. absolutely and this one a lot here check this out this 19 this is right out of i dream a genie right there maybe 1950s <laughs> the wall clock right there we've got about 30 seconds left jim give me my sign here i want you girls to help me incorporate how i would incorporate uh, this item here that i've stolen from another table oh, now no. for <laughs> folks who are not around in the earlier segments there that is Fina mint for constipation. <laughs> Insist I right on the jet right. <laughs> Where now? Right over the toilet. Right over the toilet. Yeah. It would look great. Yeah. Right I think it's very you. Yeah. <laughs> you know me better than I thought, really. How do you think the family would react to that? <sighs> hey, I think they're gonna love it. You know, my That's ten year old would go, Dad, what's constipation? <laughs> do you That'll take be a fun conversation? You know, he has a lot of those. All right, that's for sale out here, too. And there's a million other things out here, uh, uh, Emily and Ke uh, Kelly. Uh, not only a lot of this mid-century modern stuff here, grandma's credenzas, there's a million of those, but there's vintage clothing. Uh, there's m nude pictures of Marilyn Monroe running around here that I may or may not have seen for a couple of months. And just okay. a little bit of everything and a million other things in between, some fine art over there. It's awesome. There is lots of fun stuff there. I'm always a big fan of the mid-century furniture. That's mm -hmm. great. And I do agree with these ladies. I think Fenament is the perfect decor to hang over your toilet core. The toilet it will go into. Okay. I'll see if I can make this guy, work this guy down a little bit on the price. <laughs> and there's some haggling to be done there, I think. All right. Always something fun there. Thanks, Core. I love those shows because you just go through yeah. and you never know what you're going to find. Yeah. There's something there for everybody. I've yeah. been to several antique malls. My parents love going to those. Mm -hmm. So it's always fun to see the different booths and what people have yes. and the history behind them. It is fun stuff. Kind of a tough <laughs> weekend for indoor activities, though, at least for the next couple of days. Yeah. It's going to be nice. It is going to be nice. We're back to more of a summery pattern. So a pair of 